Hey guys, Keith Brown, Tack Room Devotional. We're talking about judgments this week on, on Tack Room Devotional. And remember, we're kind of going over some basic principles uh, for Christianity. So I hope you're getting something out of not only this study, but the studies previous to this when we talked about God and we talked about, uh, well, first of all, we talked about the Word of God. And then we talked about God and His person and, and character and so forth. And then Jesus Christ and then the Holy Spirit and then sin. And now here we are on judgments. And uh, so on Monday, we talked about uh, the judgment of the believer's sins. This, on Tuesday, we talked about the judgment of the believer's self. Uh, yesterday, we talked about the judgment of the believer's works. And today, we're going to talk about the judgment of the nation. Now, uh, the nations. I, I hope that you're seeing that there's more than one judgment. And so when you're reading scripture and you see it about the judgment, make sure you understand the differences here. So here, um, let, let's just read this. Go to Matthew uh, chapter 25 and we'll start with verse 31 and read to about 46. It says this, um, when the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the holy angels with him, then he will sit on the throne of his glory and the nations will be gathered before him and he will separate them one from another as a shepherd, divi shepherd divides his sheep from, the, sheep from the goats and he will set the sheep on his right hand but the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right hand, Come, you blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundations of the world. Whoo, glory! Um, for I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you took me in. I was naked and you clothed me. I was sick and you visited me. I was in prison and you came to me. And then the righteous will say to him, Lord, when did you see, or when did we see you hungry and feed you or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and take you in or naked and clothe you? Or when did we see you sick or in prison and come to you? And the king will answer and say to them, Assuredly, I say to you, inasmuch as you did it to one of these, the least of my brethren, you did it to me. And then he will say to those on his left hand, Depart from me, you cursed into the everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, you gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and you did not take me in. Naked, you did not clothe me. Sick in pr and pr sick and in prison and you did not visit me then they also will an answer him saying Lord when did we see you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or naked or sick or in prison and did not minister to you then he will answer them saying assuredly I say to you in as much as you did not do it to one of these uh, the least of these, you did not do it to me, and these will go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. So this shows you the judgment of the nations, okay? Um, this is not the judgment of the great white throne, which we're going to talk about tomorrow, uh, and we'll find that in Revelation chapter 20, verse 11 through 15. A careful co comparison of these two judgments will establish the following facts. Number one, the judgment of the nations will take place when the Son of God comes in glory. Then he will sit on the throne of his glory. The great white throne is never called the throne of his glory. So we see the two there. And again, we're going to talk about that uh, great white throne judgment tomorrow. Number two, here's another fact that these two scriptures point out. At this judgment, he will judge the living nations. And that comes from Joel chapter 3, verse 11 through 16. At the white throne judgment, though, he will judge the wicked dead. So here he judges the living nations, and at the great white throne judgment, he's going to judge the wicked dead. The third fact of uh, that we find through looking at these two different scriptures is at this judgment there will be no resurrection of the dead. At the great white throne all the wicked dead are raised. And it says in Revelation chapter 20 verse 13, the sea gave up the dead who were in it and death and Hades delivered up the dead who were in them. That's Revelation 20 verse 13.
Another fact, number four, says, at this judgment, the judge of God, the king, judging living nations in his earthly kingdom. At the white throne judgment, the judge is God, judging only the wicked dead. And then number five, and fifth point, at this judgment, there are no books open. At the great white throne judgment, the books are open. That's Revelation chapter 20, verse 12. A sixth fact about this judge, these two judgments and the difference is at this judgment there are three classes judged. Sheep, goats, and tribes. Now the tribes of the elect of Israel. The sheep are the um, saints, um, those who are saved. The goats are those who are unsaved. And you can find that in Revelation chapter 9 verse 9 through 17. The unsaved it's talked about in 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 7 through 10. And the tribes which are the elect of Israel come from Revelation chapter 7 verse 1 through 8. Also Romans chapter 11 verse 25 through 28. At the great white throne judgment, there is only one class, and that is the dead. The final fact that we see here is that this judgment, the king gives the kingdom to those who have eternal life. At the great uh, white throne, there are no saved, no kingdoms. They are all cast into the lake of fire. Boy, you don't want to be there on that white throne judgment. Uh, make sure that you get yourself right today. I'm Keith Brown. This is Tack Room Devotional. Jesus loves you. I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.